Hey guys, as you know, I've been having a little problem with my swash plate on my fly barless head and how the swash timing has been off. And today, I found the problem. Okay, so here's my modified head. This is just my plastic EXI head. I took the washout base and I made that into a swash follower. I just flipped the arms around the other direction and put the little uh, arms that go down to the swash plate on the other ends of those arms. At the top, I took the fly bar seesaw out and I bolted the mixing arms right to where they bolted onto the, the head block. Um, that way I get some mechanical reducing without losing the servo resolution that I have. You can see here there's a lot of slop in the swash follower. And um, I found out that it was because the, the screws were just loose. So I tightened up the screws and everything was fine. My plan was originally to replace it with this uh, metal washout block since... Um, is a lot more sturdy. However, you can see to move the arms that go down to the swash plate from one end of those washout arms to the other, I have to grind off some material, which I didn't really want to do on the metal ones. Here are the smart model scale blades. So, uh, we're going to do another test with the weighted blades, and then I'm going to try the unweighted blades. Alright, so this is flying with the weighted Smart Model 450 blades. Um, it's quite a bit more sluggish than it is with a fly bar, having all the weight out of the blade tips, but it's nice and stable, and the wind doesn't seem to have a lot of an effect on it. Even when the wind blows, uh, it pushes around a little bit, but it doesn't make it quite as crazy as it did when I was running just the wood blades without the fly bar. Alright, now we got the unweighted blades on here. Now, the thing I noticed about these blades is that uh, it gave me a lot more maneuverability and my cyclic was a lot faster, but um, at the expense of some stability. You can see here kind of, I'm kind of giving it full stick quick just to see how, how quick the uh, flip rate is. Um, and it's pretty quick, however, um, any little bit of breeze really seemed to throw it all over the place. Right here, it's not windy. It's pretty stable. I'm able to hold a, a pretty solid hover. And right here towards the end, it got a little breezier, so I took it up one last time at the end of this battery just to kind of see how it behaved in a little bit heavier breeze. And you'll see here that I almost lost it once because it was it just kind of a little breeze took it and it just kind of was all over the place. Now with the heavier weighted blades, I didn't have this problem. Now granted, this is a custom fly barless head, so there could be some issues with slop and play in the head that are causing some of my problems. Although, with the weighted blades, I did notice it was a lot more stable.